Hi beauties! Welcome back to my channel. I know I have been gone for so long. I am so sorry. Just a lot has been going on around here. I've been busy with school. I got a little job so I've been busy with that and I haven't really had time to film until now. Also ignore the plane sounds. It's the holiday season. I live near an airport so it's going to be more busy than usual. I apologize. But today I decided to do a holiday Christmas festive look since Christmas is literally five days away which is crazy I didn't want to center this look around only one color that represents Christmas so I decided to incorporate all the colors I have gold green red and silver and if you're wondering where the silver is peep the highlight it's right there I really like how this came out I thought it would look too bold and too daring for like a Christmas party but it actually turned out pretty wearable and I think anyone can get away with a bold eye and a bold lip around this time of year and I just don't feel like it's too much I feel like it's just enough also I'm warning you in advance I am the worst at applying darker color liquid lipsticks so if my lips look uneven or just weird that's why and you'll also see me struggling a little bit in the video I'll try and edit out as much of my struggle as possible when there's no guarantees I really need to get more color lip liners I swear but without further ado I hope you guys enjoy this look and let's get right into the tutorial all right so it's been a hot minute so bear with me I might be kind of rusty I'm hoping not so I already primed my lids to save time. I used the trusty Urban Decay Primer Potion Eden and I set that with some face powder because I don't want it to be sticky which will make the eyeshadow grab on in certain spots and can look blotchy. I'm going into the Melissa Michelle palette and I'm taking Rosemary right there and I'm just going to apply that above my crease as my transition. Now for the green part of the halo, I am not sure. I have two options. So I have between these two, one is more gold undertone and one is more cooler, but I'm not sure which one. I think I'm gonna go with gold undertone because gold will be in the center. So I'm going in with this Ulta color called Shamrock and I'm just going to be applying that on the inner, the outer corners, and also in my crease to create the halo eye. I'm using a stiffer dome-ish blending brush is really good for packing on color in more precise places. I'm actually going to go over that with this green color from the Wild Heart Palette by BH Cosmetics because I want it to be darker. So after you have that, I'm just going to blend out those edges just because they're looking a little harsh. I'm actually going to deepen up the crease a little bit and blend it out at the same time with Harley from the Melissa Michelle palette. Harley is not a super dark brown as it comes off in the pan, but I like that because you can build up the color if you wish. Now I'm just going to touch up because in the process of blending some of that green disappeared. I should have used a matte green. That would have looked better when I blended it out, but oh well. Going to the 88 palette and I'm going to take that green right there and try and just overlay it on top and hopefully it'll take away some of the shimmeriness. Yeah, I wanted it to be green like this in the first place. I should have just stuck with what I was envisioning and just used the 88 palette from the start. But it's too late now. Now I'm going to take a little bit of rosemary and blend that out even more. Okay, now for the fun part, which is the gold. In the Melissa Michelle palette, I'm taking Teresita. I'm using a sponge tip because the really metallic 
shades in this palette work best with your finger or a sponge tip but I'm using a sponge tip because I want it to be precise and I'm just going to apply that right in the center where there is no color this pigment is very chunky so be careful and be patient I would suggest not doing your face makeup first especially with this gold color in the palette because this gold color as you can see it's very chunky so I don't mind if it falls on my face like it is because I don't have my face on yet and when there's less color on the sponge I go out to the outer corners and kind of just sweep it just to kind of help blend it man the one time sponge tips actually come in handy the sponge already applied the color pretty decently and it kind of helped blend the edges as well but I'm gonna go in with the dome brush I used to apply the green already I wiped it off already and I'm just going to dot slash pat and swipe in between the gold and the green so the edges are more seamless Alright, and for my highlight, I'm taking Weezy from the Melissa Michelle palette and applying that in my brow bone. And I love this brush because it's like a fan shape kind of, so it applies my highlight but also blends out the edges at the same time, so that's one less thing for me. Alright, I'm going to apply my lashes and put on the rest of my face and we will get on to the rest of the tutorial. And for lashes, I'm using the Kiss Lash Couture in Gala. So everything is on, now I'm going to finish up my eyes. Going into the makeup palette once again by Melissa Michelle, I'm going in with Lola and I'm going to apply that on my inner corners. And for the lower lash line, I'm repeating the same as the top with the green and the gold. Now I'm finishing up the eyes with mascara, lining my inner corners and applying black on my waterline. For blush, I'm taking my haul in the palette. For the element of silver, I'm going into my foil eyes palette and I'm actually taking the silver right here and I'm going to be applying that as my highlight shade. For a lip liner, I'm taking this Ulta Contour Lip Liner Pencil. I'm taking Spice, and I'm just going to line my lips because we're doing a red and I don't want to go off the lines. For lips, I'm taking this Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream in Attraction. I'm going to very carefully apply it. And that's the entire look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I tried to incorporate all the colors and it seemed to come out pretty well. You know, minus the lip part. I need to improve on my liquid lipstick application. I know. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and I will see you in the next one.